Let's get into our first topic of the day, and it has to do with the Mr. Jimmy Butler. Uh, guys, I don't know how much you've been following this story, but Jimmy wants out of uh, Minnesota. Apparently, issues with Andrew Wiggins, issues with Carl Anthony Towns. He claims they don't play hard enough or something along those lines. Yep. Uh, he's wanting to get out. He wants to go to either the Clippers, the Brooklyn Nets, or the New York Knicks, and mainly because those three teams are the only teams with salary cap space to that, sign him to a max deal next summer. That's yep. major market. Oh, that's what he's looking yeah, for. Yeah, he's looking for the major market. But, he wants $190 million on that contract. There that's you exactly go. what he wants. And then do his, do all the extracurricular things he gets yeah. to do there. But you know, I just can't. I hate when they ask for trades like that. It you know, seems that, more that really frequently now, me. isn't it? Yeah. Instead of like, like well, 10 years ago or 15 yeah, years ago. Yeah, it's a new players, millennial type deal. Well, they, they, the players own that league. You know, it's it's yeah. really getting ridiculous. But I really like him. I mean, any team he goes to, I mean, he's a baller. Man. I like he Jimmy Butler, too. Play. I saw uh, someone Why posted. not the Lakers? How come we don't want the Can Lakers? He, well, he's a forward. He's playing LeBron's position, isn't he? And he playing small forward? Yeah. But so, I, mean, I don't know, yeah, but I don't, I don't I don't know if they're going to pay him 190 million. LeBron though. plays yeah. all the positions. But, that is true. <laughs> yeah. But that you know, true. there's a lot of players that you know really don't want to go play with LeBron. Right. I've heard that too yeah. and I don't understand it. It's like you don't want to be a championship contender. You don't want to be on TV like 50 of your games. I mean, I I don't understand it. But it's now, a shame. Guys, <laughs> I got a question. What was up with this fake news story? Now, they said there was fake news that came out later on, but at the beginning they said the real reason that Jimmy Butler was trying to get out of there is because he had an affair with Carl Anthony Towns' girlfriend. Really? Did you no, guys not hear that? Not yes. heard oh, that. yeah. Yeah, my buddies from Texas who <laughs> I used to play ball with. with, the, with uh, the, oh, yeah, man. We were talking about it. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, I'm going to find the – listen, I will find dirt in a snowstorm, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> now, that could explain why they don't kind of like each other. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but there's no reason for you not to like each other. You know what right, I mean? Right. Oh, unless that unless that there's something happened. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Unless, yeah. You know, as you know, wars – have been fought over women. That's you true. Know, that but, happens. Wow, so. I wonder if. Uh, mm. But they claim. I mean, it came out later that it was fake news. First, it was reported that it was true. Then it came out later it's fake news. But sometimes things that are reported, there is a hint, a, of, a hint of truthfulness of truth. to yeah. it. You know and what that, I mean? That would be really be the only thing that they could not get back and play together. Right. You know. You're the, right. Well, their their media day is Monday. Do you expect uh, Butler to even be at their media day? That's going to be a little probably awkward. not. You know, when they were trying to get whatever whatever worked out at Tom Thibodeau, yeah. first they were supposed to meet in Minnesota. Okay, then instead of meeting in Minnesota, they get a call in uh, L.A. And, yeah, yeah, it goes to L.A. So yeah. the call probably went what from Jimmy Butler to his. Agent. Agent, hey, man, probably. I'm not going to yeah. meet with these guys. The heck with meeting with them. They can come to me. I'm mad. I don't want to go out there. So the agent calls up Tom Tumado. Well, you know, Jimmy's got a lot of things going on right now. <laughs> he's, he's you know, he's working out with the other guys. He's got big team yeah. workouts. And, you yeah. know, the agent tries to clean it up. Next thing you know, Tom's out in L.A. So when that kind of stuff starts happening, it's bad. And uh, Thibodeau, is it Thibodeau or Thibodeau? Thibodeau. 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 He, I have one he, of those. He, his it's statement good. was, I, I would rather <laughs> – I would rather – Quit coaching than trade Jimmy Butler because wow. those two are yeah. very close. Yeah, they are from the Chicago yeah, that's what, days. Yeah, from yeah. Chicago. Yeah. So here's okay. So here's my question because uh, we were just talking about this a couple weeks ago with the um, the arrogant fan bases, and we brought up the Knicks, and we were like, it seems like they're almost resigned at this point. They're not as arrogant as they were, say, like in the '90s when they still weren't winning anything, but they were competitive every year. And Knicks fans were intolerable. It felt like, yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> now it's like they're kind of in the, in the shadows. Should the Knicks just wait till next year when he's a free agent and then bring him in and sign Kyrie Irving too? So then you could put Kyrie Irving, Jimmy Butler, and uh, Porzingis together? Who are best of friends. Yeah. Kyrie and, and Jimmy Butler. They are? Which I didn't realize. I didn't, I didn't know that either. No, yeah, see, that. That's funny you got this written down because I, I saw that on ESPN this, uh, this past week. Like, really close. They want to play together. Ooh. And I was thinking, well, what about the Celtics? But, you know, the Celtics don't, don't need any I don't think they need Jimmy them, Butlers. yeah. They yeah. got a couple Jimmy Butlers. Well, Butler, the Nets so would have the room to – and I, I've heard that Kyrie doesn't have an issue playing in Brooklyn or, or he wants to play in he New York. Does. So he one of those home. two. Yeah. Uh, and if I'm Boston, I'm I'm – figuring out a way to get something for him now before he bolts on me yeah, for nothing I, next year. I can't yeah. believe he would bolt yeah. Boston, you know, with all the I mean, great things they got going. I mean, well, he watched him almost make it to the finals without, without him. him. So yeah. maybe he's thinking – I mean, the whole reason why he said he left Cleveland is because he wanted his own team. I, is that – is are the Celtics his team? Or are they more maybe Jason Tatum's team now? Or, you know, like – Well, I tell you what, man. When, when Kyrie comes back 
and Hayworth. I mean, it's oh, going to be God, it's gonna yeah. Oh, team. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot that yeah. Gordon Hayworth. Yeah, that's I mean, the they're, championship they're team adding, next year. Man. They're adding two top-notch, top-tier free agents, basically, yeah. onto that team because they didn't have them for the playoffs. To a team so that, that team yeah. is going to be sick. To a team that was, uh, what, what they, they took Cleveland to, did they take Cleveland to seven? Yeah, seven yeah, games. They took Cleveland yeah. to seven. And I mean, they're, championship, uh, they're a championship team already. Yeah. They re- yeah. yeah, wow. So this season will be interesting for sure. I don't know if the Timberwolves so your question, should trade them. If, if, what if Kyrie went, uh, they, they Boston go together. wins it? Oh yeah, and then he says, "Okay, now I want to go back home to New York." You know, which I mean, his. I up. could see that. I could see it either way. Even if they don't make it, it'll give him an excuse to leave. Like, yeah. You know what? Yeah. I'm just gonna. But the Clippers, you know, uh, Jimmy Butler's talking Clippers too. I think uh, they're just using the Clippers as like some kind of leverage I or something because so. I, I keep hearing that attached to Kawhi too, and I'm like, why would you go to the Clippers if you could play for the Lakers?